ரம்மி விளையாடி ஜங்கிலி ரம்மி டாட் காமில் பணத்தை விழலாம் I'm going to take you down the memory lane of some of, some of the important games. Uh, the game that we are going to talk about today is not only an important game in my career, but also a very, very important game in the landscape of Indian cricket. The 2011 quarterfinal of the Cricket World Cup, India versus Australia. The precursor of this, Australia had won three World Cups on the bounce, 99, 03 and 07. They were the contenders to take home the cup this time as well. And most importantly, no host nation had ever gone on to win the world cup that was one thing that was holding india back so there was talks about how this game was the eventual uh, final where whichever team went on to win this game could go on to win the world cup what do we know about this game australia won the toss on what was expo- expected to be a turning pitch and they batted first clearly ponting made a 100 sachin made a 50 yuvraj singh was the man of the match went on to win, all, win the man of the match The most important moment in the game was where Gautam Gambhir got run out and the game shifted balance. Uh, Sachin Tendulkar was caught behind of Sean Tate, another important moment in the game. Uh, Shane Watson was bowled off my bowling. That was another important game, important moment as far as I was concerned. But my memories are far more emotional. I was extremely nervous. Not played a big part in this tournament, but that was the game that I felt I was born for. I was so nervous that there was this ball that I bowled to Watson where he punched it back and it was an easy ball that they could have stopped but my hands were trembling and the ball burst through my hands and went for a boundary. Went to MS and apologized for it where he said just ease yourself into the game. All these are what I remember and we all might remember from the game. But to me, there were two important contributions from that game. Very small contributions that need to be spoken about. First one is of Zaheer Khan's. He opened the new ball bowling and both of us did together but one thing that he gave the world for all of us to use today was a knuckle ball slower ball he knocked over michael hasi with a knuckle ball and later on went on to knock over cameron white where he chipped one straight back to zahir khan through the world cup comp zahir khan was at his very best using this knuckle ball very very effectively and he was the biggest unsung hero of that world cup as far as team india was concerned the next contribution came from one of my teammates from csk Suresh Raina he hadn't played a he hadn't played a big part in this world cup because Yusuf Patan was the first one who started the world cup but as Suresh Raina came into the competition he played he literally breathed fire he played some of the best knocks that i've played seen Suresh Raina play or any batsman play under pressure he came into this game having just played the first game against west indies at chepok and this game he walked in when the team was under the pump sachin was out gautam was run out and yuvraj singh was playing really well But Suresh went in and played an absolute cameo, took the pressure away from Yuvraj Singh and made sure we moved on to Mahali where we played India-Pakistan in the same way. But that's for another day. This is it for today.